This picture of our hummingbird coming up to the bird feeder was taken by one of our members, Simon. Simon was on holidays in the States. I've got a feeling he told me this one was actually taken in Montana. Love the picture. It is a smashing picture of the hummingbird. There's some fantastic detail in there if we just zoom in and take a look. But the one thing Simon didn't like was the fact that the, the bird feeder is just a little bit too distracting. And uh, yes, you can see that there's sort of quite a distracting bird feed. <laughs> so, what Simon wanted to know was could we actually move the bird from this position here into another position and perhaps crop and get rid of the bird feeder? Let's take a look. One of my favorite methods has got to be, it's also a very quick and easy method, is simply to pick up the lasso tool. Now with the lasso tool we're going to make a little bit of a sort of a rough selection around our hummingbird. Just coming down around this area here, well you can see where I'm going, but rather than do it in total silence, I thought I'd twitter on. Right, coming round like this, there it is, we have made a selection around the hummingbird itself. Once we've done this, this is going to be a very important selection, so we're going to go to select, we're going to go to save selection, and there it is there, it's telling us that it's a new channel, we're going to call this bird, because that's what it is. Right, next, dropping down it's the patch tool we're going to be using. It's in with the spot healing brush, it's in with the healing brush, there it is there, the patch tool, it's letter J is the shortcut to get to it. And once you've arrived, you'll see this is the menu bar for the patch tool. The one we're interested in is destination, not source, which tends to be the default, but destination. The other thing is, if you're actually moving something which has got a smooth background onto a smooth background, now this can be a sky, it can be whatever you like, but if it's got a tonal range which is smooth, in other words, if it was foliage I wouldn't do it, but for a smooth background such as the sky, as I've said, tick transparent. Right, with ta transparent ticked and destination, we can come inside, we can latch onto a hummingbird, we can move it out. We now have two hummingbirds. We're going to move it roughly into this sort of position here, releasing our bird into the wild. And uh, there it is, job done. Command D, Control D to deselect, and it has done a terrific job. Right, next, the shadow. Once again, we're just going to pick up the freehand lasso, or you can come straight in, you can actually pick up the patch tool, you can make a quick selection. I'm going to go around the outside, allowing for the way that the shadow has actually sort of come out into the image. It's a nice soft shadow with this, so trying to get the whole thing in. We've done that. Once again, destination, once again transparent, coming in, lifting this up into this sort of area here. This is going to be the bottom of the, the crop we're going to be making, into this sort of area here, releasing that and that's gone in, looks pretty good. Command D, Control D to deselect, job done. Right, but we've got two hummingbirds. So, by going to select, by dropping down to load selection, we're now gonna select our bird channel, we're gonna click OK. There it is, still using the patch tool. This time, untick transparent, that is important, untick transparent, click on source bringing the patch tool down, we're going to pick up our hummingbird, well we're not, we're picking up the selection, we're moving it up like this into this area here, you can see it's giving us a bit of a preview of how it's going to look, we're going to release it, and hopefully that's going to do us a pretty good job, thank you very much, and command D, control D for that, you can see it has done a brilliant job. Okay, picking up the crop tool, we're going to come in, dragging it over the image like this, down into this sort of area here. I'm not sure I'm going to go, if I release it, you can see the way I've got that ruler third there, that's looking pretty good. I like the way that's come in there. And uh, if we just press enter on the keyboard, yep, it's a smaller crop, but it has done a remarkable job on the hummingbird. It's done, you can just see the detail around there is absolutely superb. A good job on the shadow as well. So there it is. That's just using the patch tool to move our hummingbird, to move the subject back in. Yeah, I've used this no end of times where I want to sort of put in a couple more seagulls and I've actually gotten a picture. Even clouds, I've even sort of duplicated bits of clouds and moved those around. Don't forget, if it's a solid background such as the sky, use that transparent mode. Go on, give it a try, and until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.